question four is to find local extrema using first derivative test. Now we have done this plenty of times in the previous questions. All the three questions, in fact, we have come across this topic. So you can just do that. I will just quickly tell you how. It is just deriving this, derive it out over here. It will be 4x cubed plus 12x squared here. And then that's zero. So what you can do is you can put this as mod 5, 4 and put this and you will get the critical numbers. You can do the number line method. That is the first derivative test. Um, depending on number of uh, critical numbers you have, if you have three critical numbers, you find what is happening. If it's plus, minus, plus, minus, that means it's increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing. This is how we do it. But I'll try to tell you shortcut method. Now that is absolutely actual method. Now since you will have the options with you, let's take out our calculators. Let's press mode 7, that's the table, and type this equation out. Alpha x to the power 4 plus 4 alpha x cube minus 2. Now, press equal to, if you get this, just ignore it and press equal to, or if you directly get this, now start at say number 5. Now this start and stop uh, end number will be highly influenced by the options you have. You will have four options. Now let me just uh, show you the answer. Here you will have something like this. Minus 3, 0, 0, infinity like this. Or it will be minus 5, minus 2, 1, 1, 3, something like that, right? Based on that, try to cover all those numbers. What I would do is I would start with the least number that is minus 5 here because minus 5 is lesser than minus 3 and then I will end it at 5 and step I will just give it 1 and now look over here something's happening so at minus 5 it's a huge number and then minus 4 it's decreasing it has decreased to minus 2 again it's decreasing at minus 3 but then at minus 2, it has increased. So from this table of values, what do I know? It was decreasing and then it starts increasing at minus 3. So that is the important value for me, minus 3. Then what's happening? It's increasing, 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 increasing considerably. See, it's just keep on increasing. So what do I understand over here? I can see that. Only at minus 3, it starts decrease and then it just kept on increasing. And over here now from the critical numbers, I know there is a critical number at 0 as well. Uh, one important thing, you need to find the critical numbers, guys. Derive it, find the critical number. You will get two critical numbers, right? It's very helpful. Even without that, you can use this. You can easily eliminate the other answers. So now from this, I know it goes down at minus 3 and it starts increasing only. So now let's look at this. It's decreasing where? Where is it decreasing? This minus decreasing. Only from minus infinity, that's somewhere minus infinity, till minus 3, it's decreasing. Then from minus 3 till infinity, it just keeps on increasing. Yes, this is what they're telling us. Absolutely true. So there's a minimum point at minus 3 only. From this table, we can easily sh show that. Let's do one more over here. So what we do is, we need to go to mode 7. Once you are in the mode, it will be, it'll always be there. Otherwise, just click mode 7 and then type this out. Alpha x to the power 5 minus 5 alpha x squared plus 1. And here, this is not there. Just put minus 5 and end it at 5. And let's step will be 1 and let's observe the values. It's huge numbers, negative, negative. It's now we it's increasing. So it was a very small number. It's coming up. It's coming up. It increased, and now after zero again, it's decreased. Okay, decreased, and again it increased. So you can see the jump over here. Now, if you have the options, you can easily figure out which are the options. Now, if the if the options are over here, you can see they have told zero there's a change of slope they have not given the options properly generally you will have options like this from minus infinity to one number one more number increasing decreasing 
Here they have just explained what it is. But anyways, we, we can see here, 0 is also increasing. Till 0 it increased. Can you see? At 0 the slope changes from positive to negative. Yes, because until 0 the numbers were very small, right? Very, very small numbers that increased till 0. And then it fell down again. Can you see? At 0 to 1 it fell down to minus, minus 3. And then, see, you can see at 1, it decreased, but then again, it started increasing. Increasing. Now, here we have the critical number Q root of 2. It is about, you know, less than 1.5. It's more than 1.1, uh, somewhere over there. So, at that point, more than 1, but less than 2, definitely. It's less than 1.4, I guess. We can see, again, it starts increasing. That is at this point. Slope changes from negative to positive. Yes, that is what they have clearly mentioned. Now we hear, again it goes up. That is a cube root 2. So this is how we can easily look at the answer and then tell the correct answer. So this is written in sentences, but yes, absolutely makes sense. So let us try this problem as well. It's very simple. Alpha x multiplied by e to the power minus e to the power. So you need to press shift and this symbol over here minus 2 alpha x. Now, it's very important to start based on the options. Okay, let's look at the options. Over here, you can see this half. So if I take the, you know, take a smaller values, generally e to the pi x and all will be, you know, smaller numbers. You need to look at the options, all the four options, and then reasonably choose it. What I'll do is I'll choose minus 2 because other options might have been other values. And I'll end it at, say, 2 itself. And here, for these exponentials, take the step half. You'll get much better clarity. If you have, say, 1 fourth, then I would take 0 0.25. But here, half is 0 0.5, so I'll take half. Now you can see here, at negative 2, what's happening? You have a huge value. Then it's increasing because minus big numbers are small, right? So it's still increasing, 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 and it became 0. At 0 0.5, it's increasing. But look here now, at 1, till 0 0.5, it went up. But at 1, it is going down, 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 and there, there it is. So, yes, maximum point. Why? Because it went up till half, and then it fell down, right? So 1 by 2 is the maximum point so this is a shortcut method you know i hope you find this helpful because uh, you can you can explore and find different methods as well now since the answers are given to you four options are given this is a very effective method so please do try these problems by yourselves any method you can try and even for tan inverse you can try that or you can derive it and do whichever method you want you can start solving it um, especially for trig functions also, you can easily graph it, but you will get the table of graphs. So no problem in that. Try it out and check all these problems by yourselves. The work dot solutions are over here as well. And this is it. Even for this, if you graph it, you can easily understand which is maximum, minimum and solve it up. That's it for this question. Try exploring the table method. It's a new and an easy method. Only for the MCQ part it will work. Do try it. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments and I will get back to you very soon.